स्टॉक मार्केट हा शब्द ऐकून सुद्धा घाबरायला होतं का तुम्हाला तुम्ही नॉन फायनान्स बॅकग्राऊंड चे आहात तर काळजी नका करू नाही हो ना माझ्या पंधरा वर्षांच्या शिकवण्याच्या अनुभवातून मी हे चार कोर्सेस डिझाईन केले जिथे अगदी आर्थिक व्यवस्थापन कसं करायचं इथपासून चांगले स्टॉक्स कसे निवडायचे इथपर्यंत तुम्ही शिकू शकता एकदम सोप्या पद्धतीने आणि तेही आपल्या मराठी भाषेतून मग वाट कसली बघताय ज्ञानात गुंतवणूक करण्याकरता आजच नोंदणी करा Hey folks, see you Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to yet another interesting Thursday live stream. Uh, today I'm sure everyone will be like, Yeh kaha pe aagai ho aap? The background is different. Uh, so needless to tell you that yes, I'm in my office right now. Um, had a crazy day, begun my day at 9 in the morning and uh, still at office. Uh, would just quickly want to welcome as only one one member has joined right now so amit welcome to membership so you get a special mention right away but i think you have joined the student membership uh, if you ask me which one is the best i can definitely tell you that pro investor membership is the best you can upgrade as well because that is where anyone who joins as a pro investor member can get an access to something amazing which is called as stock of the month where we actually discuss about at least one fundamental strong stock every single month right so uh, if you want you can definitely check out uh, our pro investor membership as well right so let us get back to today's discussion i'm sure everyone checked out today's market it was crazy today's high that we saw was 22516 it was the last trading day uh, of this entire financial year and uh, everyone was really surprised to be honest including me uh, that how is it possible that uh, the market is moving like so crazily of course it cooled off quite a bit uh, after hitting 22500 uh, 516 it uh, closed around 22300 something but yes super happy with the last day's performance and uh, you know now it will be interesting to see how the market continues in the coming few months I'm sure there are many people who are a little bit skeptical because of the upcoming elections. Uh, what will happen? Uh, should we stay invested or not? Uh, should we pull out our money? Should we buy more? I've done a lot of live streams, and in which I've already mentioned that till election, ideally the market is run up. A post election, generally we do see some sort of uh, you know profit booking, and after that it is again interesting to uh, watch out for stocks which. have seen certain beating and if you feel that they are at good levels it's worth entering these stocks now the big question comes up is that if we were to select some good stocks which are the good sectors is the first thing that we have to understand right so today we are going to discuss about which could be some key sectors that we can look at and based on these sectors which could be certain stocks to watch out for uh, before i go on to that discussion uh, i would quickly want to Sumit is asking, ma'am, I'm pro investor member, new member. Please tell me what is the legal rule for investing in stock market for government employees. I just sort of taking this up quickly before I uh, quickly shift to our today's discussion. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, Sumit, uh, government employees are not allowed to do any sort of speculative transactions. Uh, so something like an intraday transaction will ideally not be allowed. Uh, even futures and options, there are certain government organizations <coughs> which <coughs> which ban. uh future uh, future is an options transactions right so even if you are a government employee are you allowed to invest yes so delivery based investing is absolutely allowed okay kya baat hai today i'm getting some nice comments huh? shiva me saying i subscribe to your pro investor membership 13 days back and i must admit it is worth much more than subscribing to netflix or any ott they are an expense your subscription is an investment kya baat hai shiva i think this is a million dollar uh, comment that i have received till date uh, the difference that you have made netflix is an expense and uh, my subscription is an investment super happy with uh, your analysis as well right kya baat hai kya baat hai chalo so made me happy uh, you can make me happier how shiva has already made me happy you can make me happier in the beginning of our live stream by smashing the like button absolutely uh 
Yes, absolutely. So this is again an important update. Uh, Sumanth says, hi ma'am, I'm a pro investor member and I kindly request you to review all the stock of the ones discussed until now every quarter based on quarterly results and provide your views. It will help us a lot. Kya hai? Okay. So yes, yes, I understand. Many people are saying likes, likes. Okay. Yes. But uh, just before uh, moving on, uh, this Saturday, what is the date? This Saturday, that is 30th. I'm going to have a quarterly Zoom meeting with all the pro investor members who have enrolled for my pro investor membership through our website, rachanaranade.com. Okay. So anyone who has enrolled, uh, you will, you will, you can go to the library section. Through the library section, they should be able to view uh, the Zoom meeting. Also, you will get notifications. Uh, so you can also join through the notifications. Uh, and anyways, if you are a pro investor member through YouTube, you will get a recording of that Zoom meeting. Don't worry. Okay. Chalo. So with that as a basic discussion, let us get started. How have I drilled down to certain sectors and some stocks? Uh, the logic that I've built is very simple. I'm sure everyone might have seen a clipping of uh, our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji getting viral. So Modis net aslaid sahib, Mad Lakshya Urdu Tama Girish. Girish is saying not fair, madam. Girish, it is fair because those who are pro investor members and who have taken membership on YouTube, you are you can comment, right? But those who have taken pro investor membership through my website, they cannot participate in our Thursday live stream comments. So you have one different advantage and. The pro investors through my website have one different advantage. One one advantage is different. Okay, Shh, focus. Now, getting back to our discussion, one clipping of Shri Narendra Modi ji went pretty much viral wherein he is, I guess it's a 58, 59 seconds clip wherein he just shoots the names of various sectors that he's going to focus on in the coming five years. Okay, I'm not talking about being pro any party or against any party. If this government were to be resuming power for the next five years and if our current prime minister has set a very clear focus that okay if i come back into power then these are the specific sectors that i'm going to focus on if we have that as uh, a guidance as an analysis then can we drill down on some logic and also can we drill down onto cert certain stocks is what the big question is right so what i have done is i just after going through the clip i uh, you know uh, tried to go through the entire video and finally i thought that let us quickly drill down onto certain sectors so next five to ten minutes i want 100 percent attention right i would want to share my screen uh we have just prepared a very base level presentation um not not pretty fancy but i'm sure you'll get some important insights into this so this is the first sector that is in focus is the power sector Okay, so here you can see current power demand, peak power demand means what is the maximum power demand? By 23-24, the peak power demand is 243.3 gigawatts. And by 2035-36, it's expected to go to 690. This is a crazy increase. Uh, this is almost 2 to 1.5 times. And if this be so, if the peak power demand is going to increase, overall power sector is going to see some boost, good boost. Now, one more point. There is a correlation between GDP and the overall energy supply energy requirement typically it is said that seven uh, you know there is an elasticity ratio of 0.8 what do we mean by elasticity ratio of 0.8 if gdp were to grow at eight percent then energy supply will grow at seven percent normally okay six point four to be precise but six point four ka i've just rounded it off to seven percent okay so if if you expect that gdp is going to grow then obviously Power demand is going to be there, power supply will increase, and overall power as a sector is going to see some nice, uh, you know, it will be in limelight. Okay. Now, if I'm talking about power, we have to focus on something known as renewables. Everyone knows that. Key points, whatever are the key points I've just hi highlighted for you all. What is the current renewable energy capacity? Current renewable ca energy capacity is 168.9. Oh, PPT is not visible. Okay, okay, one minute, one minute. PPT is not visible. One minute. Uh, just give me one second, right? 
40. What is it visible? Ah. Okay, today I am streaming through my office and in my office I have a dual screen setup, right? So actually the wrong screen, uh, the YouTube studio screen was getting portrayed, not used to a two screen setup. Uh, but now I hope it is clear. The point that I was trying to make, this is the current energy uh, demand, power demand, and this is the expected power demand, okay? The point that I'm trying to make, one more important point is that, uh, what is the current renewable energy capacity in our country? Currently, it is at 168.9 gigawatt. By the way, data is at, as at 30th May 2023. I've taken this from the government website. Uh, current renewable energy capacity is at 168.9 gigawatt, which includes solar at 67.82 gigawatts. Okay, now have a look at this data. Country plans to reach 450 gigawatts. Currently, we are at 169, 168 gigawatts. We plan to go to 450 gigawatts. And solar, which is at 67.82, it may go up to 280 gigawatts. So this is going to go at a crazy percentage. It's, it's going to be over 60%. So solar is one sector which you definitely should look into. The biggest problem is that there are no listed big players. I'm repeating, there are no listed big players which are completely into solar panels, okay? So it feels very bad that we directly can't go ahead with any company which is into solar. I'm, I'm, I'm very specific about this that I'm specifically talking about solar panels, making it fully end to end. Okay. Uh, if you feel that, yes, there are certain mid caps or some small caps. And if you feel that I would, I should look into these stocks, please let me know the names of these stocks in the comment section and would love to check it. And uh, if I feel that, yes, the company looks to be fundamentally good, would definitely check that out as well. Right. The second uh, point that I want to make, of course, we have discussed these quite a bit, uh, be it REC, be it, be it PFC, be it IREDA. We have discussed about these stocks. And if you want, uh, uh, it's there in my presentation. But Pooja, if you would, uh, I mean, please uh, paste the links of these specific videos in the comment section as well. Um, hey, Pooja, look at all right let's move on to the second sector second sector is defense and uh, again let's go a little bit quick now currently india's military spending is third highest in the world and some amazing points right according to government data india has 194 defense startups super uh, everyone knows about the make in india initiative and currently expenditure on defense procurement from foreign sources, basically imports, which used to be 46% of the overall expenditure has reduced to 36.7% in the last four years. So again, amazing. We are going on into import substitution theme in defense. We have talked about this so many number of times. Very nice uh, numbers expected for defense production. And I'm sure everyone knows about one key player, which is HAL, if you are following the news. HAL has received so many orders in, in the last one week itself. And if you see the value of production, HAL used to be at 17,000 crores in 15-16. They are at 27,000 crores already, barely in six, seven years, right? So amazing run up for some defense key players as well. Again, if you are our pro investor member, I have discussed about this talk in absolute detail, HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So if you have not yet seen the video, uh, do watch that as well. I think last in one or two months itself, I have uh, covered HL. So don't forget to check out that video as well. Moving on to the third sector quickly, it is EV manufacturing. And uh, again, a very, very amazing space. Uh, so here, EV market is estimated to reach 50,000 crore rupees by 2025. I mean, again, EV manufacturing, everyone knows that, but have a look at this CAGR of 36% until 2026. Uh, this is this can actually be a big game changer. Any specific initiatives by the government, everyone knows about fame. Everyone knows that, yes, uh, we are trying to increase the public uh, charging, public fast charging stations, basically. And again, this one was an interesting news. Even I came to know about this when I started digging down into the details of today's discussion. In March 2023, central government sanctioned 72.41 million US dollars under fame India scheme to IOCL, BPCL, HPCL 
for setting up 7,432 public fast charging stations across the country. So I think this is one area. Charging stations is one area which is comparatively lesser talked in the entire EV space. So you can also focus on that, uh, which is a specific stock for charging infrastructure. It is Tata Power. Till date, I have not made an exhaustive video on Tata Power. So if you feel that I should make one a video on Tata Power, you can either just type out yes, or you can also smash the like button. Uh, more and more likes, I get to know that yes, I should be making videos on that. So Tata Power is one stock. Tata Motors, I've discussed again, this talk I've discussed in absolute detail for my pro investor members. Uh, I have discussed about Hero Motor Corp on our YouTube channel as well. This one is specifically for Ether Energy. Uh, Ether Energy is not directly listed on the stock exchange, but Hero Motor Corp holds some exactly, I don't remember, but somewhere around, I guess, 30, 40% of uh, Ether. So again, if this is one of the key beneficiaries, automatically Hero Motor Corp will also be an indirect beneficiary. Infrastructure, again, everyone knows, I don't think I should be even talking much about this. Uh, LNT, again, one of the favorites, no doubts on that, uh, on infrastructure. Okay. Semiconductors, again, one key theme in the upcoming, uh, you know, few years. Uh, if I were to talk about the insights, semiconductor market size 2022 May was valued at 26.3 billion. Market size ka CAGR, I have a look at this 25.7% CAGR from 22 to 32. And this entire Indian semiconductor market size is expected to reach 271.9 billion by 2032. Again, huge one, right? Latest news update, March 13 ka news update hai. PM uh, Shri Narendra Modi ji uh, inaug uh, virtually inaugurated three new semiconductor units where uh, here one in uh, two in Gujarat, basically one in Assam. Uh, CG Power, of course, again, uh, is is in news and has been in news for quite some time, especially for the semiconductor news only. Is this listed? Absolutely, yes. Uh, but I have not made any video on CG Power. Uh, again, do let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a specific video on CG Power. Either you type yes or you smash the like button. All right. Uh, one more. Uh, one more. Uh, you know, stock which is not directly into semiconductors, but one of its subsidiaries of Tejas Networks is into uh, semiconductors. So two Karnataka based semiconductor firms, one is Sankhya Labs uh, uh, and one more entity. This is a sub subsidiary of Tejas Network, right? And this is into semiconductor space. So these two stocks, even Tejas Network, I don't think I've covered uh, during my live stream. Uh, so till now, Three, four stocks names uh, I specifically pointed out. CG Power, Tejas Net Network, which I have not covered till date. Uh, Tata Power also I have not covered till date. Uh, so I, even I feel that I should be making few videos on this. So that you know you also get to know a little bit more about these specific stocks. Railway, again, I've talked a lot. Everyone knows that the trend is increasing. Fret is contributing the highest. If you have seen my video, which I did for IRFC, Pooja, again, if you can pay, paste the link of uh, IRFC video in that I've, I've digged into the details of the whole sector as well and uh, the government plans everyone knows they have huge budgets for not only modernization of trains it is about upgrading of tracks it is about upgrading the railway stations as well new dedicated freight corridors coming up a lot of things are planned for the whole railway space multiple uh, stocks again IRFC is one IRCTC is the other, uh, Aircon, so, so many, so many stocks in this specific space. So uh, out of all these sectors, achha, uh, which one is your favorite is what I was going to ask. But till then, I'm just uh, quickly checking out. You can <clears throat> title these at the next four to five and then publish the video. Okay. Cheeky. Sure, sure. I would uh, go through that. Himanji is saying Servotech and Patanjali Sol Solar Panel Manufacturing Company is both listed. <clears throat> okay, we can just note down these names. Uh, Servotech and Patanjali. Okay, check it. JBMA was missing in the EV space as they won 750 crore worth order under PM. 7,500 crore worth order under PM bus e-seva. Okay, JBMA. We'll also try and see if... So what we have done, uh, we have just tried to see whether fundamentally basic... Uh, gets ticked off or not but of course more than welcome you can suggest uh, if you know certain stock names which are into these themes and if you feel that i should be making content around these uh, i was expecting this one Ovari renewables 
uh, yes, a lot of people uh, have discussed about this and a lot of buzz was created around this stock, especially I can definitely tell that. Uh, so whenever time permits, out of all the CG power and uh, you know, Vari or a few other stocks that I discussed today, would love to make videos on that as well. Okay. Uh, let us move on to uh, J. Uh, if next one minute, I would want to wait and quickly check which stocks are you also mentioning out of the themes that I discussed. Uh, uh, Hemanji is saying that uh, Vari, I was about to say, but I did not find in listing. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Ranjit says LNT has a defense vertical. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so LNT can LNT Ranjit, you name it and it is there. So super, super. PFC, hmm. that is one stock which I have not discussed on my channel. So yes, PFC will do. Electra as a subsidiary of MEIL was the second highest investor in electoral bonds. Is it going to be negative? <laughs> So electoral bonds, I don't think is going to be having a direct impact on the stock prices per se is what my my thought process is. IEX, but under which under which uh, theme are you saying Rajdeep ji? Sterling Wilson, okay. Reliance Power, no, 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 no. The fundamentals are not that great. Ircon, okay, can do a video on that. Mazgaon Doc is also one where we can definitely discuss in defense sector. Why not? Wa Solar, hey, kaya tha? As, as she listed a company. I have never heard about this. Wa Solar, okay. Dune Dew. Uyu, Irida has too much debt. Is it safe to trust? It is their, that is their core business. Take money, give money. So don't worry about that. Are Baba, Indian Energy Exchange, I know that. Kutakila, wait, wait. IEX is Indian Energy Exchange, I know that, but which theme was it pertaining to is what I was asking out of the themes that I discussed today. Vedanta, I don't like that stock fundamentally. That is why I did not discuss. I know that it was one of the stocks which was easily fitting in the sectors that we discussed today. Suzlon, absolutely, but I've already done a video on Suzlon. Uh, Pooja, if you can just paste the link of Suzlon video. MTAR, I've already done a video. Please, uh, Pooja, again, if you can paste the link of that video as well. Many videos we have already done, many videos which can be done. Uh, so I'll, I don't know if I can put a poll here or not. Uh, okay. Ranjit ji is saying Vikram Solar, Goldie Solar, Satvik, Renewsys, these companies too are sonal, so, solar panel. Not sure if listed. Acha, acha, acha. Like photos one more loom solar i really doubt if uh, even they are listed or not uh, even i've tried to do uh, a lot of analysis especially for solar panels but uh, not sure if it's listed twinkle is saying puja, puja is in demand na, since last thursday live stream puja ji please keep on pasting links here <laughs> okay uh, right Azad Engineering. I have been tracking this stock again. Uh, so yes, definitely Azad Engineering is is on the cards. I will I will definitely try and cover that as well. Okay. Chalo, before we move on, NTPC. Achha, okay, NTPC is sleeping giant, getting into renewables. NTPC is also one very good stock which can be covered. I have not done it. So NTPC one little Anik Azad Engineering. Okay. Irida, I have already done a video. Puja, Kai Zalevala's Hopzagi Katula. Puja, paste the link of Irida also. <clears throat> okay. Chalo. Lot of, lot of uh, points we have discussed. Um, borosil Renewables. Not sure about the fundamentals. We'll check it. But Borosil Renewables. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, right. Before we move on again. Two important announcements. Number one, I've been talking about this on my channel also, uh, but everyone be aware of fraudsters. There are a lot of fraudsters who are trying to use my name, use my photograph without my permission. Please create that awareness amongst your family members and amongst your friends. Uh, we, I mean, I don't have any other 
you know a whatsapp channel where i give tips and nothing everyone knows that by now but please spread the word there there are still some people who really believe that it's me i am not running any whatsapp channel to provide any sort of tips okay i don't run any instagram paid ads i don't run any facebook paid ads so please uh, everyone uh, check these uh, fraud i mean don't fall prey to these fraudsters even if you get these please report such ads okay uh, second thing is like uh, many people have requested again those who were not able to apply the coupon code last time live stream this is the coupon code which is again live till 12 midnight so for another 2 hours only it is available <clears throat> it is uh, it gives you some additional discount on all our courses uh, the website everyone knows that it's rachanaranade.com uh, so if you want to even enroll, especially for our pro investor membership today, because if you are enrolling for our pro investor membership today on our on our website, rachnaranade.com, you are immediately going to get uh, an opportunity. I, even I will get an opportunity to meet you all. You will get an opportunity to meet me through the Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting is going to be live uh, on this Saturday at 9 p.m. So uh, those who are considering joining the pro investor membership, I think today can be the right day. And plus you have some additional great discount uh, but this is available only till 12 midnight okay um one more thing is uh about the nifty levels now so let me just get back to nifty levels okay before that do we have any listed companies that provide raw material for solar panel map it's very tricky rajesh i've tried to check it but i think it will require a bit more research i will try and do that of course but till date, I was not able to pinpoint out very clearly, right? Emanjee is very happy and appreciate you doing live on my suggested theme, Emerging Sectors. Thank you, Emanjee. You are one of uh, those members who attend the live stream without fail. I know uh, uh, that, you know, just for our viewers, uh, Emanjee uh, is, uh, you know, has been seeing our channel, has been following our channel since. So I, I don't remember, Emanjee, how many years? Three years, four years? And uh, without fail, he, he sends a very nice super sticker every Thursday live stream. And uh, I had an opportunity to meet him as well. So it was fun. We had chai together. Right. Okay. Chalo. So with that, now let us move on to nifty analysis quickly. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. So if you remember last time I had mentioned that worst case scenario, you should know what, what might happen. So this is last Thursday. This is where we were. Last Thursday, we were at just touch and go 22,000. And from that, almost 300 points up. Today, it tried to test the all-time high. Now, this is one area which is going to act as the next block. This was the previous all-time high. From here, again, we saw some big selling pressure. But if we are able to sustain above this, right uh, now if i want to remove all these points uh, okay now if you can see here clearly we are in a channel would quickly want to draw that channel as well so you know something like this again quickly drawing this one two we'll just try and extend this we were below that channel for some time we'll just extend this one right okay something like this okay not exactly wrong but yes uh, we are in the support trend clearly we slipped below this lower band we are exactly inside this now first level of resistance is going to be this if we are able to break this then i feel the next one we may head towards 23000 as well it'll be really fun to watch that uh, are we above the 21 days moving average yes yesterday we closed about 21 days moving average today also we are way above that uh, even if you were to check the pivot levels today r1 we have crossed and r2 also we tried to cross but eventually closed below that but all in all if you ask me nifty structure is very 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 comfortable no need to get scared not at all absolute comfortable nifty structure okay hemanji's favorite is indus tower he he always every thursday live stream he talks about indus tower let me just pull it up but if i am not mistaken hemanji ye to bahut upar chala gaya already but let me still pull it up for you once hmm. i'll just pull up the one month chart so that everyone gets to know one important aspect which i feel is of indus tower i would want to again share my screen okay 
Now, if you see here, achha, first let me go to a daily chart. Then you will understand. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing. Have a look at the daily chart. It has been in a very nice uptrend since a long time. Okay. If you only look at this, you'll be like, wow, kiti bari. Now wait. Let's look at the monthly chart and see kiti bari. Hmm? Where was it? The highest point that we have seen that is in August 2015. It was at 500. Okay. From that, the lowest point we saw was March 2020 Corona times. Obviously, was 120. But what is interesting right now, everyone should understand this. I'm just going to draw a trend line. Okay. Now, if you see here, so actually, I should be. It's going to cut through this. I understand. Uh, chalo, one minute. Just cutting these are the two problematic candles, otherwise, something like this. But overall, because some wicks will be joined, some so a little bit generally, we should not cut through the body of the candle, that is a general thumb rule. But if you see here, this was the trend line, okay, downward trending line that has been taken out in this month, okay. So, important, uh, which is the immediate next resistance. Ideally, this should be the immediate next resistance. Why? How do we how do we analyze this? Okay, I'll just quickly draw it for you. One minute. Hmm. So this is like a high, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, similar low, and right now it's trying to test this high, and ideally this is the previous high which it should break. Okay, I hope you are with me. So if that be so, I'll just quickly remove all these lines. Okay. So if that be so, we have to be very sure that this previous high is taken out. Once that is done, then I will be more keen on looking towards this stock. One more thing, if you see volumes have also increased nicely. So for those who are wanting to learn about this stock technically, very classic uh, stock to watch out technically. To be honest, I have not done the fundamental analysis of this stock. Would want to add this in my fundamental analyst to check a list and would love to see that as well. Okay. Uh, Rajendra is saying as per rounding bottom, target is around 340. Which stock are you mentioning, uh, Rajendra? I'm just trying to pull your charts, but I'm not uh, able to see that. Oh, in the meanwhile, Akshay is asking, how can I keep a track on NRI live streams? Uh, Akshay, we keep it, uh, we keep on posting on uh, our Invest in India portal. Uh, so this is, I will quickly share, by the way, because you told about the Invest in India portal, uh, we are running a 30 days challenge, a quick, just 30 seconds, uh, but super excited to share this as well. I started my Invest in India uh, community which is especially for nris who are wanting to invest in india it's based on two themes number one getting to know our markets better and number two understanding the taxation aspect also okay and a lot of members are so active in this uh, group it's it's amazing to see so many nris are wanting to invest more and more in india and uh, what i have done is i have i have announced a 30 days challenge uh, and this is the challenge. Puja, if you can pin that. Uh, just try and pin this. Pin message. This is especially for those who are wanting to uh, enroll for our Invest in India membership. It's going to be a fundamental analysis challenge. Here, we are going to understand 30 different concepts during 30 days. It is based on YouTube videos as well, but I'm sure you are going to get to learn a lot. You can just visit that page and see. Uh, I've written down all the details here, but uh, anyone who is wanting to learn more on fundamental analysis practically also definitely consider watching this out. Okay. <coughs> all right. Balrampur Chini is uh, one more question which has been asked. Let me just quickly check. Balram. To be honest, I'm not big. I'm not a big fan of sugar stocks. Uh, they have rallied quite a bit. I do understand that. Um, okay, I'll just quickly share my screen. Is my screen being shared? Hmm. 
so here you can see that it was in a consolidation for such a long time which is this this is 2006 and this is what 2021 okay now i'll tell you also one more observation okay once this is broken then many a times whatever is this height i'm just going to measure this it's got 3x ho sakta hai stock it can go 3x this is not a stock recommendation capital letters underline bold double inverted commas everything okay but i'm just telling you quick examples so see this is 165 points ka movement so we'll just take it at 160 so 16 threes are 48 this is possible with the help of this technical analysis how much has it gone up by now it is just 1x as of now 16 to the 32 had gone 2x but came down uh, just to give a quick example of what is this 3x all about uh, if you have a look at rec also same old story uh, how much was this this is 1x 117 points let's round it off to 100 points so from here this is 100 points this is 200 points this is 300 points okay so 3x one more example if you want this is this is classic example of long consolidation and breakout okay one more i can give you many examples last example by the way from year to year how many bars again 83 okay so 83s are 24 so ideally 240 minimum from here some 240 here and still going strong okay so many examples i have given so balram purchini uh, just at 1x right now so do the fundamentals uh, if you feel it is fundamentally good then definitely you can you know uh, consider adding this to your watch list um even me i'm an nri have less knowledge in shares and stocks been keeping keep been keeping a watch on your videos to explore myself kindly please assist uh okay uh, paddy if you want to know more about our community so office number five I'm just giving a number 70385 22461 2 7038522462 this is for the invest in india those who are interested in invest in india uh, membership uh, especially nri community if you have any doubt please feel free to reach out at this whatsapp number okay gurudat is asking 10 pm still in office Gum Kyasu and Kushi Kyasu always love to be with you all. Uh, but yes, today has been kind of a hectic day. Started at 9 in the morning and just 10 right now. And you know what is going to happen after this? Ice cream party. <laughs> all right. Okay. Paras Defense. Uh, okay. We'll quickly check this stock as well. Paras Defense. Are, are. It's, it's absolutely range bound right now. Uh, one minute, I'll share my screen. Just have a look at this. No, no big movement, even if I were to take a weekly chart. This is the noise post listing. Uh, in one week itself, it had given 91% returns in one week. Okay. But if you see the consolidation here, see, this is, it has not yet, yet moved out of this range and there are no signs also if, if it breaks out from here then i can say that oh now i would want to you know, have a closer watch on this so not allowing me to take any further interest oh, oh. ranji ji says she loves narayan murthy follows 70 hours a week <laughs> i'll um do, i think this depends you know um, i love my work so working 70 hours is not a big deal for me to be honest uh, but as if it's made mandatory that rachna you have to work for 70 hours your entire team has to work for 70 hours i'm sure my team members are going to curse me a lot one is sitting right here and he's going to be like uh, but i'm sure if i ask them to uh, everyone to work for 70 hours a week it's going to be crazy for them but i can i think so but i also love to take breaks uh, i love to go to jungle uh, recently i visited kashmir and i played too much in the snow so i love to take a break as well right guru dati singh ice cream party hame bhi le chalo ma'am aa jao pune we'll go
go. Okay, Tata Steel rounding bottom in monthly time frame. Your views, okay? We'll quickly share Tata Steel. Now, today we are taking a lot of questions around stock specific. What's that? Rounding bottom. Mm -mm -mm. Not a rounding bottom per se. Uh, I'll share my screen again. See, typically this will not be treated as a rounding bottom, you know, uh, rounding bottom should be something like from the beginning, it has happened like that. Plus, we are almost at an all time high. So it has given a breakout, in fact. Okay, so this pattern, there's no name as such for this. Uh, is it looking strong? Yes, it is. Uh, if I were to connect, this should actually close above this level. That is important. So you can, I can definitely say these, these were the immediate previous closes uh, for this was for month of August 21 did not sustain here in September 21 and post that this is the first month that it has closed about this. Uh, typically, this is a base. This base will be added up post breakout. So uh, yes, does the structure look good to me? Yes, but uh, textbook rounding pattern. This is not that one. PEG can be used as one of the parameters. Don't use that uh, too much. Okay. Ashwin is saying, hi, Rashna, any, any solution be provided to ident identify the names of previous stock of the month? You will have to click on the video. You will get the name of the stock of the month. Okay. Oh, oh. Arshil says, is it the right time to buy Geo Finance? Uh, I never, I never tell that directly. Uh, okay. But I can definitely tell you that fundamentally super strong. Again, if you are a stock, if you are a pro investor member, I have discussed about this so much in detail. Uh, Geo Finance was one of our previous stock of the month and uh, very good, very strong stock fundamentally. 101% can't agree more Probin. Personal life will be impacted in long term. 70 hours, ke liye, everyone wants break. Hmm. Okay, everyone is also again talking about ice cream. In a time, mein nifty 30% or bhag jayega. Are ya. Okay, where was this cup and who was talking about gold all time high? Hmm. That is also interesting. Gold is at an all time high and uh, it the chart structure also looks pretty good. Uh, so, will be interesting to see how gold. Uh, goes ahead uh, even I, I I mean I should not be using the word recommend but I will definitely uh, tell everyone it's a suggestion uh, that ideally gold should be around 5 to 10 percent of your portfolio it's a good way to diversify your portfolio uh, whenever there are any negative shocks in the market gold absorbs these shocks okay even if there is any geopolitical uncertainty gold is one asset class which generally uh, takes your portfolio at a better level. So everyone should at least have 5 to 10 percent of gold in your portfolio. Ashwin asks, Sai Rashna, how did you identify Geo? Geo gets dividend by investing in Reliance. Where should I check? Check the shareholding pattern of uh, Geo Finance. Now you will easily get to know about that. Uh, I've, I've covered that in our pro investor special video as well. Very clearly uh, it is mentioned uh, in I mean, it, you will find that in the annual report also. You'll find that in uh, if if you just dig down into basics, right, about the shareholding pattern also, you'll get to see that. Has someone gifted memberships? Yeah. Oh, so is it? Put a display on the Naveen, did you did you gift memberships? Fifty memberships is that so? Oh, okay. I got to know about this because again, see, I am working from office today, right? So today the screen is split. I can't see. Uh, Jagannath says, I got gift. Thank you, Naveen Prithviji. Thank you, ma'am, for your learning videos. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? Happy, Naveen. Fantastic. Gifting fifty memberships. Is something. Kya baat hai? 
good those who have benefited from uh, navin ji's gifts you can thank him as well right jay gokhale says sula wines not asking stock analysis but recommending and inviting you kai upayog nahi bag gokhale i don't drink i don't smoke what will i do at sula wines hmm? so uh, but i would definitely want to invest in sula <laughs> that case, uh, again that was one of our previous stock of the month so uh, yes uh, fundamentally strong stock not sure about how it tastes though <laughs> okay ma'am please assist i had uh, bought ireda at 188 uh, fall up to 130 please whether uh, devil rohan uh, if, if you uh, please please find time to watch my video on ireda if you are a long term investor no need to worry about ireda right devil rohan is spamming i know devil rohan i have taken your question now don't spam Devyani International not doing that well. Uh, I think be it Devyani, be it be it Jubilant, both are not doing that great. Uh, this entire space of uh, you know uh, quick what is that QSR quick, quick service restaurants that entire space is not doing that well right now. So better better stay away. Raji says Navin Prithvi gifted 50 memberships. क्या बात है? Okay. Any other quick one or two questions? Uh, it's ten seventeen already. Time is over. Okay. Cheryl says um, Cheryl is member for seventeen months. Says hello, ma'am. Your views on safari industries, please. Stock is falling from seven from months together. Please suggest. Okay. Safari industries. मी बरोबर बघते ना सफारी इंडस्ट्रीज आय जस्ट शेअर माय स्क्रीन आय नेवर ट्रॅक दिस स्टॉक ऑन डिस्क्लेमर बट व्हॉट आय कॅन सी राईट नाव इट हॅव सीन सच अ ह्यूज रन अप अँड अनफॉर्च्युनेटली इफ यू हॅव इन्व्हेस्टेड हिअर देन यू विल बी लाईक ओ माय गॉड आफ्टर यू बट इट हॅज स्टार्टेड टू फॉल ऑलमोस्ट हाऊ मच हाऊ मच करेक्शन फ्रॉम द टॉप फ्रॉम द टॉप इट हॅज करेक्टेड ऑलमोस्ट 25% ऑलमोस्ट बट यू इफ यू आर लाईक 25% करेक्शन अरे डोंट डू दॅट even if i say here it saw a breakout it was in consolidation for some time even if it gave a breakout from here it has gone up by how much almost 365% it has gone up and from that if it is, if it is correcting by like 25% that's nothing but what you should do in such cases from breakout you can draw a fibonacci and ideally it should take a good support here at 1608 and that is what has happened it did come up here but ultimately trading here right now so 1608 should be a good one uh, in such case i would not i mean had i been an investor i would not have invested at this level because there is no sign of reversal right now i wait for reversals if i see some powerful reversal then only i invest last quick question i'm just going to quickly check zomato is on my cards yes it is on my cards i have been tracking it um, and if you have uh, seen my marathi uh, recording uh, when i took my marathi technical analysis live stream i had discussed about uh, zomato and i had taught in that class how does the technical analysis of zomato look like and at that time it was around 95 ish and today if you know zomato is doing pretty well i think it's around 190 200 still i mean almost 2x so fun okay uh, one last question manu says uh, holding tata tech since ipo are it's a fundamentally very strong company don't worry no no tension all right even akhil has gifted one membership kya baat hai akhil uh, very nice any other quick questions <laughs> love this any atg benefit available for gifting <laughs> membership i wish ranjit ji i was able to amend our income tax act i would have done that 
but unfortunately not in my hands okay 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 Dinesh says, ma'am, I've been purchasing stocks you have shared in the pro investor community. Right now, I'm holding over 15 stocks. Would it be advisable to continue adding new stocks monthly? Uh, only if you feel that they are good, you should add. If you feel they're not good, you should not add. Number one. Number two, don't uh, take it take it to too much as a quantity because more and more you're investing. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, too many stocks in your portfolio, you will not be able to track them nicely. So make sure that you have that much time to even track these stocks. Zomato rounding bottom absolutely it's, it's at a good structure. Okay, many new members have joined in today and uh, welcome to all the new members. Many people join uh, even gifted memberships. Thank you to those who gifted memberships, including Naveen and uh, I forgot the name. One person who gifted one membership as well. Um, who was that person? Okay, yes. So. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining in. Uh, it's been almost 50 minutes that we are doing this live stream. Enjoyed a lot. Today we did discuss a lot of stocks uh, after a long time. Um, and uh, yes, I've noted down a lot of stock names. We will uh, definitely do videos on these stocks. Uh, and I'll see you on the next Thursday. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.